Dan Passarelli here. Well, I am a big proponent of the Greeks. If somebody asked me, do I need to use option Greeks? My answer is yes, they're really important. That's like saying, do I need to use the dashboard on my car? I mean, I guess you, if you know, maybe you don't, but if you don't, you're not going to know how fast you're going or if your engine's too hot or if you're running out of gas, right? These are really important metrics. But there's one Greek that I never use, and that is gamma. Now, that's maybe a little bit of an overstatement. I actually do use gamma, but I don't put it in my option chain, and I don't use the actual numerical figure for gamma. And the reason for that is because gamma changes, and with rounding, uh, you know, it's just really too hard to figure out. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with gamma, that's how much the delta changes. And there's just too much mathematical... Um, rounding that has to happen to make it useful. So how do we make it useful? Well, here's what I do. When I'm analyzing a position, whether it's modeling it or a position that I have on, um, in Thinkorswim, what I'll use is what's called slices. Now, every options-friendly brokerage platform has something similar to this if you don't use Thinkorswim. But I'll use slices. So this slice, this is where the stock currently is right now, 106 uh, 65, and you see that there's a sort of gold dotted line here right at that price. So we can add a couple more of those and just say, hey, what if, let's turn this to percent and this to percent, what if uh, this stock went up 5% or down 5%? And we could pick any value. We could do it in terms of... Uh, standard deviation or, you know, just dollar amounts. But, you know, let's look at it in terms of, of percent. So what this will do is this will tell me, hey, here's what my new delta is, which is exactly what gamma would tell you anyway, right? And this one is tricky because the gamma goes from negative to positive, it would be literally impossible to just do this math in your head to come up with the accurate delta. But it'll even take it a step further, too, and it'll tell us what our theta becomes, vega, what our profit or loss might be if this change happens. And this just ends up being, to me, a lot more useful than the actual gamma figure. I hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.